What's up guys, Mike Fields back. I came home to six extremely heavy boxes on my porch. I feel really bad for the mail guy because these are probably not fun to unload. Some of the corners are kind of mushed. I'm gonna get these opened up and I'm gonna show you guys what we have. All right guys, so as you can see, it's a bunch of batteries. We have 16 of the Calb 180 amp hour batteries. There's the label right there. I bought these off a of battery hookup. They claim 90 to 100% capacity. Obviously they're used cells. The packaging left a little bit to be desired and the ones that were packaged for three because the way the boxes look like they were thrown around. Two of these cells are wet, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe these things off, clean them all off, give them a really good thorough inspection, and then we're gonna kinda, I'll show you guys up a little bit, a little closer. My plan with these is to make a very large 40 volt battery for the new EG4 inverter charge controller all-in-one system we just got. So this is gonna be a big battery project. I've never built anything 48 volt. We're gonna use a, a Dally BMS. I'm gonna build a nice enclosure to put all this in. And yeah, just kind of see where this goes, but this is gonna be the start of a really badass battery. I'll get them on the counter and I'll give you guys a good close up of the cell and we'll kind of check them out and then we'll check the voltages just to make sure they're all still holding voltage. All right, so this cell has a pretty good little dent right here. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference in the performance, but I really hope not. All right, guys, I got them all unboxed somewhat cleaned up. Most of these do not have any swelling, as you can see here, and they advertise them as having no swelling. However, some of them do. So as you can see, we have a swell here. So I think I'm gonna check each individual battery for swelling. I don't know if I'm gonna make a big deal about it. These are used batteries, so you kind of get what you get. I guess it's not a big deal as long as it functions, but just something to keep in mind when you buy used batteries. Also, some of these are really, really clean. Like I think this one, very clean battery and some of these look like they've been drugged through the mud or something because they were really nasty but anyways i got them all cleaned up now i'm going to take the meter we're going to check all the terminals to see make sure the voltage is you know where it's kind of supposed to be make sure we don't have any duds all the terminals look really good the threads all look okay it doesn't look like any of them pull threads the vents look okay there's the spec sheet of the battery in case anyone's curious all right so i just checked all the cells they were all between 3.26 and 3.29 so they're they're definitely not balanced to each other so i think the very first thing we're gonna have to do is top balance but just for this video i just wanted to unbox them show you guys what they look like and i'm pretty excited so like i said we're gonna do a 16s 1p battery out of this brand new these are 180 amp hours that's around nine kilowatt hours worth of energy right here and we're gonna put this we're gonna build a nice enclosure for it, build a nice cart to mount this all in i got to make the bus bars and i got to get the bolts because they do not come with any of that so something to keep in mind and that's it i guess this is going to be it for now but i think in a future video i should probably do some capacity testing just to kind of see where we're at as far as the spread of capacity goes but it really won't do me no good anyways because i only have 16 so i think i'm just going to slap it all together top balance them put it into a battery and just kind of see how it performs maybe do some load testing make sure the batteries can actually put out what they claim they can put out and like i said here's a close-up of the sticker so the calve cells are real nice because they have this nice plastic co uh, casing and I really like that. And like, look how like nice this battery is. So this one I think is gonna be a good one. But yeah, I wanna be, I've been wanting to try the cal lithium iron phosphates for a while and now I got a bunch to test. So I guess that's gonna be it for now. Like I said, in the next video, we're gonna mess with these and build a battery and kind of go from there and get it tied into the new 48 volt inverter and get that all up and going. So that's gonna be it. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.